John here. I'm just checking the camera. It's okay. Yeah, hi. It's Sunday today, the 10th of July 2016, and uh, I'm going to talk about this video to Pope Francis. In the Vatican City, private company, that this is a, a notice to you. Um, hope that we are well aware that you are enforcing your new world order laws on the world on the 16th of July 2016 by force of your law against anybody in the world is not acceptable to our native people here in out here in New Zealand and Pacific Islands and British UK government and British Navy military our legal business partners since 1835 declaration of independence flag this flag Pope Serious matters are pending your alienation and threat on our lands in the Pacific Islands and that of the Commonwealth countries of the world while we are in a private contract of admiralty with the British government and Brexit exit from EU Parliament back to its old British self-running government and us as the second party. Anyone else is a third party interest with our private business still in existence under King William IV and King William III and King George III. King Ernest Augustus the first King of Britain UK Hanover and us here now with his direct bloodline descendant and inheritor of his estate King Ernest Augustus the fifth, living in London, and his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, living in Hanover and France and England. I warn you, Pope, that we have been watching your behaviour as being abhorrent and degrading to most people who are Christians that you and the Catholic Church has bastardized the Church Christians with your introduction of another law of Islam and Muslims plaguing the world with violence. You are a violent man from Argentina, Pope Francis, and you are displaying your real worth self as being usurping King William the Fourth Admiralty Court Martial laws for your own private investment banking interests. I'm offended by your behaviour with our authority given to you by Queen Elizabeth II, fraudster as well. We are charging you with treason. Your company, Vatican City, with 
Queen Elizabeth Private Corporation Company, Washington DC, and Buckingham Palace, with the same offences, between you libeling the other, with Evelyn Rothschild, Chairman of the Rothschild Banks, as the third party in that conspiracy to defraud the people of the world with your corrupted law system of admiralty, court martial law, now that you've destroyed all of that. You've destroyed your UCC law, your canon law, your courier law, and your civil law, and your admiralty laws. You've destroyed the whole lot of it and got new laws inside your new world order corrupted to hell. I'm making this statement on this video as proof of claim we have against you as offender of our beliefs and other people in our membership around the world who have their own religions tarnished by your Catholic Church and its onslaught and slaughter of people in the world to keep your power and introduce your new world order over other people's laws on their own land countries as repugnant of our own laws. I'm speaking with the British UK law, which is our law of this flag, for 182 years in existence on these lands here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, as applied to all the Pacific Islands in the doctrines of discovery title, Pope Francis, that belongs to us. I am the surrogate King William IV legal authority to use his powers of the King Emperor title over your titles and destroy your titles off our lands and the Commonwealth for that matter with the British military to adhere to our orders from being the second party to the first party British government under the new Britain title and our private contract interests in our foreign policies of law of the sea. That is our law over your law of anything to do with the sea because you have not got a ship of admiralty of your own to base your original titles on. We are backdating all our titles right back to when it first started with King William III capturing St. Patrick's Order Eight point star that you're using the order of St. Patrick's Irish Church as your new world order. I'm seizing that from you because I am bloodline Irish, Cosgrove family, and Scottish English Rogan family, with my Tahitian Maui statue, native Tahitian title as God's face, Earth Moai, of this planet, standing in London. Queen Elizabeth Great Court in London is my own family inheritance, native royal family title, Pope Francis, that I have as God's face, law of this planet Earth, with King William IV's memorial title 
and Moai memorial title standing in, in Lanka. I believe that you have reusurped King William III's titles, King William IV's titles, King Ernest Augustus I's titles, off them for your own church needs. It would not have been possible for you to get it without the authority from the UK, British government and Westminster. Queen Elizabeth has abandoned ship of Admiralty in Westminster Parliament and gone into the EU Parliament as a Jesuit general in your private contract corporate business. Pope Francis, you and um, the Black Pope and Ratzinger are liable. In this video, I liable you to all the debts amounting to 970 million trillion trillion pound note that you see on our websites belongs to you. You own that debt. We have accused you of defrauding the people of the world and us, the chiefs, the indigenous natives of the world in all the countries you have invaded illegally through Queen Elizabeth II and Queen Victoria monarchs. Queen Elizabeth II has a fraud coronation and that's one claim against her that we are enforcing on you today before the 16th of July 2016 on this video let the record show in the High Court of Admiralty in London <coughs> Judge Mackey from here the letters I wrote shall be recorded on this video and my barrister Shannon Withers. Auckland District Court, this video is used in evidence against Prime Minister John Key of this country and the Governor General Jerry Mataparai Andrews and the Minister of Police Judith Collins and the Minister of Justice, Amy Adams, liable. Since you destroyed your laws, Pope Francis, it makes a void in anyone using those laws against us. The incumbent chiefs of this country and the Pacific Islands and King William IV's title to King Ernest Augustus V, reigning monarch, sovereign, we swear our oath to, in the British Parliament government, we nominate him into, me and my chiefs here in New Zealand. So, Pope, I make it quite clear to you and the world watching these videos, from our point of view here in New Zealand, that these are serious allegations I make against you openly and transparent to all your Catholic Church followers. You are also liable from this video to you through the courts. In particular, the Moai crown, crown is the hat on his head, Pope, in Dunedin, New Zealand. That Moai has his hat on his head on our land. <coughs> Authority from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and King William IV's British flag 
of Admiralty and the British flag itself with this flag flying on the ship of Admiralty mast outside on the grounds beside the Waitangi Marae Courthouse is our title to the British government's assistance to recover all the debts owed by you, Pope Francis, Queen Elizabeth II and Rothschild Banks Chairman Evelyn Rothschild and David D. Rothschild CEO of that company City of London private company the Queen and the company Washington DC and the other private company of hers United States of America and Buckingham Palace these are private companies of the Queen that we're charging the 970 million trillion trillion pound no the green one you see on my website and Facebook and also YouTube that is a levy debtor instrument under this authority from that Marae courthouse on Kingi Taurua chief's land, ancestors land, we're seizing that with 77 Cook Street, Pope Francis, because no one is going to use those laws of yours on us, the chiefs and the British government and its new Prime Minister, up and coming Brexit delegate with us as partnership to all the Pacific Islands, expanse of Pacific Ocean seabed titles, doctrines of discovery title, and its lands and this land in New Zealand and Australia. Back to us, the King's Bench Court, from the Queen's Bench Court. We shall get levy the Queen's Bench Court corporate companies under the Queen's head and her signature and her name and her royal titles seized. Pope Francis, you are a very bad man. You have disgraced your church and its people. You have libeled them all into this debt instrument that I'm saying is against you. Personally, people, one by one, singly, liable and debtors straight off from the British government and military and the courts and the Auckland District Court we have hearings there to charge all of your people one by one right through the world all those people watching in Britain to me on this video I'm for real I'm for real I'm going to read out what I've written as serious allegations against you, Pope Francis, and your followers who are conspiring to defraud under your New World Order laws of another religion that doesn't belong to you. You have taken the Africans' inheritance and wrecked it. You have taken the Indians inheritance and wrecked it. You have taken the Americans inheritance and wrecked it. The American Indians, the Canadian Indians, the Australian Aborigine and the New Zealand Natives, Pacific Island Natives and wrecked it. You have wrecked everything, Pope Francis, and you're going to pay for it. There are a 
lot of people watching what I'm saying. I'm saying it for all the people who have not got this power of a king. I'm speaking for King William IV and his bloodline family. Under the King George III, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I, the son of King William III, and King George IV, son of King William III, and Prince William IV, son of King William III, King of America, under this admiralty court martial law of mortgages, banks, and commerce, free trade, passage through the wealth. That's our title, Pope Francis, that we're going to bill you on that authority that I hold. With the mandate from the Ngāpui chiefs that made the contract with King William IV. So this flag has your red cross on it. Pope Francis doesn't mean to say you own us. No, we have a contract with the Britain UK government. It's nothing to do with you. You are a third party outside of that authority. So to the British military watching this video, I want you to come to New Zealand on my land blocks at Rangitukia, the Haho 7B, land on the Waiapu River, and set the military operations up there with the Navy, Air Force and Army right now. My chiefs have given me the authority to act under this flag and under King Edward and Queen Victoria title, Chief Kingi Taurua, the, the descendants of that title and me for King William IV title. I am nominating King Ernest Augustus V as the reigning monarch of Britain, UK. He already is, but to put him into Westminster Parliament. If you're watching this video, King Ernest Augustus V, you are now our oath of office from this video and earlier videos and every document that's online that says in statements, real affidavits, that you are our reigning monarch, sovereign, king of Britain, UK, England, Wales, and Aotea, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth government countries of the world, 250 countries. Okay, so I'm saying these claims in front of the world, Pope Francis, that you're a naughty boy in front of us and me, acting the king's voice until the real king takes his place ahead of the fraudulent, corrupted Prince William, Prince Charles and Queen Elizabeth IV and Prince Philip and Prince Andrew and all that bloodline of King George I, the second, the fifth and the sixth is repugnant to our King William Fourth King George the Third, King George the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, and King Ernest Augustus the First, King William the Third. Damn, I said it to you personally on this video, Pope Francis, and your Vatican, and all your Jesuits are murderers and corrupted bunch of thugs in front of the world. Right, here you are. Pope Francis number one from me as a native of this country and your people here watching this video disappointed that the churches are fighting the Christians against the Catholics and you've bought your rubbish here on our land and spoilt it. You've spoilt every country that you've got your churches in and now you've gone to Islam and all the marauding thugs 
killing people and shooting them to hell in blazes. That's what you're made of, hell in blazes. Two, from me as the surrogate King William IV, native assessor and creditor. I'm acting in that capacity on behalf of my chiefs and my hapu, Fano in Aotea New Zealand and Pacific Islands, particularly East Island, Royalty Island, Mopiti Island and those Tahitian Islands directly to New Zealand, Aotea New Zealand and this Ngāpui tribes, hapu, flag, contract. They made the contract with Britain, no one else. I'm only going on the chiefs from Ngāpui who put this flag together in a contract. Everything I say is contract. Pope Francis, you have no admiralty to make contracts. Nothing whatsoever. To base your claims of banks through the right British UK military and crown jewels that we claim against you for stealing off our ancestors. Okay, so I'm there for Irish and Scottish on my family side. Also, Jamie Anna Marie Patrick Stewart, uh, whom I'm holding fast her claim to the Patrick name and the Stewart name in all this commerce, titles and jurisdictions of Westminster Parliament Government. Okay, number three, Chief King Itaurua Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, Admiralty, Court Martial Law. He is the chief representing me and these documents. I'm enforced with him in that marae on the 15th of March 2016. They are enforced into law the flag of King William IV, the documents of title, doctrines of discovery title to the Pacific Islands and New Zealand, and also our affidavits and claims against you people we name. Okay? We have enforced all our acts of King William IV from 1830 to 1837, Hanging in Chains Act, and every other act applies to you, Pope Francis, and the Queen, and Rothschild Banks, and all other private entities of the Crown Corporations, trusts, are liable from those acts. We are enforcing those acts with the British government from them being direct partnership with us as if Britain was here as it was then in 1835 Declaration of Independence Flag Jurisdiction and Constitution and Trading Bank Commercial Contracts all wrapped up in this flag of authority Pope Francis number four notice to you Pope Francis and your New World Order shall not enforce your alien law on our lands in Aotea, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth governments, countries of the world for that matter, matter from Britain, UK. While it is in transition to a new government altogether evolving at the present time with a new Prime Minister. This is a notice to you, the new Prime Minister of Britain, UK, from me, the native, your partner, in business. We are still in business with this flag to take Britain around the world straight directly in trade in a foreign policy with us, the native from Waitangi Marae and our chiefs in that courthouse. Okay, so I'm acting in that courthouse as the sheriff to recover all debts owed on anyone I name to wish. And your name is on that list, Pope Francis, Queen Elizabeth, and Evelyn Rothschild, David D. Rothschild, and others named. John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jerry Mataparai, Governor General of New Zealand, and others here, named in the levy debtors, all 
also includes the police who got him up the road, um, Aaron Pascoe, Natalie Flowerdew Brown, and Tim Duffy. Three, CRB criminal police detectives. Okay, just shows you it's corrupted in there as well, and also um, others who are liable in the other in fraud land transactions. The landowners of 77 Cook Street, um, Brown, James Pierce Brown, Simon Brent Roundtree, those two, and their convincing lawyers, and also those who tampered with our information inside the Crown Corporation's companies get the bill. Okay? You got a trillion pound note on all your heads, Pope Francis, you've got a trillion pound note bond on your head, pending Annex Levy Debtors Company in Britain and the British military to recover it. Okay? They're recovering the debt slowly. I put the orders out. Five. It is a punishable offence to threaten uh, my crown, King William for Admiralty Court Martial Law flag here of jurisdiction and Britain, UK jurisdiction of laws, land laws of England and King William's laws of 1830 to 1837. All those acts included in our title against you. The Admiralty comes out of that and no other king put mortgages together in the Pound Note Bank Act and the Bank of England Act comes out of this flag and our authority to use it on you as levy debt insurance. Six, England, Wales and Aotea, New Zealand, Pacific Islands as one land title of doctrines of discovery. Mu Islands and the Mu Islands and the Pacific Islands, all of that vast expanse of area is our title to under the British UK government, Admiralty Navy private contract um, foreign policy um, laws as applied to the land laws of the sea. The laws of the sea applies from the King's Bench Court and the King's Royal Revenue recovery of debts owed. Okay, that's a word that's the capacity I'm operating under Pope Francis to you on you and your church ministers and your government in Vatican City. Bankrupt. Bankrupt you and the Bank of England company, private company owned by the Rothschild Banks and the City of London private company owned by the Rothschild Banks. Bankrupt with this flag of jurisdiction on Admiralty mortgage loans and bank loans, bank money. Our pound note, Pope Francis, supersedes the Rothschild bank pound note or any other pound note that's stacked up against it. Okay, we got these levy debtor instruments against you prior to your 16th of July announcement of enforcing your new world order law. Offensive law. Seven. Brexit is now left EU Parliament and we as native partners enforce our legal authority to British government to stay out of the EU and send them any send them and you, Pope Francis, Vatican City, the bill of debt of your crimes of church and state before you enforce your New World Orders on the 16th of July 2016. This is on YouTube 
as a sworn affidavit. Verbal sworn affidavit to King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King Ernest Augustus the First, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, King of Britain UK. I nominate him as King of Westminster, Westminster Parliament this day, dated Sunday the 10th of July 2016, in front of the whole world watching, that he is the reigning King of Britain UK as current, but nominated into the Britain UK Government Parliament as the Commonwealth Countries King of the Commonwealth countries and 250 countries of the world under this flag. This flag and the British flag are partnership. Together at Waitangi on the crossbar, on the treaty grounds, on the ship of Admiralty, the British ship, Pope Francis, those two flags are side by side here, shall be put side by side in Westminster and Devon in England on his estate lands. King William the Fourth estate lands and King of Hanover. Salic law applies that no woman shall succeed to the throne while there's a king there in waiting. So Queen Elizabeth II has a fraud coronation which diminishes her title and defaults back to King Ernest Augustus because she left Westminster abandoned ship of Admiralty and joined the Jesuits in the EU Parliament Brussels as now a conflict of interest against the national interests of Britain, UK and the Commonwealth countries of the world and Altair New Zealand Pacific Islands. Pope Francis, you're liable. Under this statement I just made to threatening threatening our national security here in New Zealand and national security of Britain UK which causes me to order the British military to defend our business operations as of now and before again updated till now with this notice on you to cease and decease of all your activities of rogue law on our people in the world and on Britain, the new government for me. Do not go and interfere or tamper with our information, what I'm saying here on this video, to your church congregation, 1.5 billion people in the world, and your associates liable. Each one of them has one trillion pounds bounty on their heads. Pope Francis, I'm just telling you this right to your face, okay, that you are libeling them if you enforce your laws on the 16th, you are liable. Before you do it, I'm telling you, we bill you before you act on your laws. We act on our laws from this video. We act, I'm ordering today, the military in Britain to take heed of this notice and act on our behalf to protect our business between us and Britain, UK, government, parliament and us, our own self-government of Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. Our business with you is the same laws we're using of yours currently now, right of now is the land laws of England, Britain, UK, and King William's laws, 1838-37. Parliament this day dated Sunday. So today, I'm warning you, Pope Francis, that this is an affidavit that I'm saying, a statement, publicly, internationally, that you are now notified that is an offence offensive you and offensive to any of your associates, business partners, countries, leaders, 
parliaments, governments, churches, states to defraud, use laws that are repugnant to our laws. You can be arrested straight away. I'm ordering your arrest, Queen Elizabeth's arrest, and the Rothschilds' arrests. The chairman, Evelyn Rothschild, and David Rothschild, and Jacob Rothschild, for murdering people in the world, and assassinations, and Obama's out of control militants. You are behind the scam to take over other countries that we are going to have to act on our authority to stop you using the Admiralty Law of Britain UK through the Queen. We are going to take those laws off her from further use of any of the mortgage laws that you use to defraud people. So, number eight, that I, John, this is my affidavit, sworn affidavit to you and the people of the world watching. That I, John Kaki Wanua, native assessor, customary legal advocate, sheriff, and surrogate King William IV of Auckland, New Zealand, swear to Almighty God, my truth is my sovereign, solemn truth. So help me God, it is the truth that I swear my oath to Maui, Earth God Spirit, statue standing in London, France, Belgium, New Zealand, South Island, North Island, Auckland, Dunedin, and in Chile, um, in Washington DC, and in New York, and in Rapa Nui, East Island, and other countries that have Maui statues. I swear my oath of office to my Earth God Spirit. I swear my oath of office to King Ernest Augustus V, reigning King of Britain, UK, currently. Nominate him into Westminster Parliament as the new King of England and King of Wales and King of Altair, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and King of the Commonwealth countries of the world in 250 countries that we have put on our Facebook site and website, moaipowerhouse.com. I'm swearing my oath of office. To these kings, King Ernest Augustus the first, and King William the fourth, brother to Ernest Augustus the first, and to King George the fourth, brother, three brothers, and their father, King George the third, King of America, India, Africa. also swear my oath of office to my chiefs here in Aotearoa, New Zealand and chiefs in indigenous countries of the world under the Commonwealth governments and also America natives, Canadian natives chiefs, Australian natives chiefs and New Zealand natives chiefs. I swear my oath of office to them under our flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law of the land, the sea and the air, right through the islands in the Pacific and also in the 250 countries of the world on our site we're putting into Westminster Parliament. I'm going there, I'm swearing this oath of office to Westminster Parliament and to the Council of Chiefs inside that Parliament from the new British Government 
UK. Pengi, the new Prime Minister. I want to go there as the ambassador of New Zealand to represent this country as the Maui native chief on behalf of my chiefs here. Those are whom the people I swear to an oath of office to represent those people that I've just named. <coughs> Nine. said that I swear to this flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, sovereign authority, jurisdiction, and constitution, 1835 constitution. I swear my oath of office to those um, laws inside this flag, to the British government, UK, and not in New Zealand. I swear to the court martial law of the land, the sea, and the air titles inside this flag to all those 250 countries in the world who join us as members through the British government and not in New Zealand as the centre of the Pacific Ocean titles in commerce and the crown jewels of Waitangi Marae that we have an inheritance claim to. The Patrick, eight point star, and the Admiralty Sea of Blue, and the sky of blue, four corners of the earth, east, west, north, south. Title to St. Patrick's Order Church in Dublin, Ireland, and also King William's eight point star, King William the third, Eight point star, King William the Fourth, eight point star, King Ernest Augustus the First, eight point star, and our own eight point star sheriff's badge on our apparel representing those kings. Okay, so we are claiming the crown jewels here in this flag in Britain, UK, Red Cross to Westminster and our black seal of the British military, our partnership to protect this business, trading flag of commerce, and king of the sea, king of the royal revenue, king's royal revenue, in the king's bench court, in Waitangi Marae, and also in the royal buildings in England, and all the district courts in New Zealand and the Commonwealth countries of the world and America. I make a particular point to America that we are there for the American people to have their country back as soon as we clear the Queen off the decks. I'm there to sack her off the trust of Queen Victoria Trust 1848 and us, the native, the Trust, Gold Trust Fund, and that which the Queen is the trustee, head trust, and the King and Queen of Spain is, is the trustees, and Prince Andrew, those four trustees, I'm going to England to sack and to take the title and seize all the assets back into the King's Bench Court and audit the books of HM Treasury, England, and also the Treasury here, New Zealand Treasury, Cabinet. Wellington government um, authorities here under investigation right now from our authority in Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. Okay, so the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court prevails under the law of Britain, landlord of England. Ten, that the Prime Minister John Key is fraudulent with Governor-General Jerry Matapurai Andrews um, conspiracy to defraud the chiefs of my country and its citizens as a threat of treason. He's committed treason 
they both committed treason in the conspiracy with the Queen that is for their own private corporation businesses against the national interests of our financial investment interests of foreign policy with Britain, UK, government, parliament, and the military. So they are a threat against our national security and British security with EU Parliament and David Cameron resigning as a result of fraud and corruption of Westminster. I'm going there to help to clean it out and to put order back into that Parliament with us here and the rest of the world watching, waiting to join. So with the British government conflict of interest, John Key and Jerry Montepulay in this country with the Pope and the Queen and the Rothschild Banks is a conflict of interest against our interests as chiefs and natives of this country with the British government. The foreign policy and the economy, trade and investment is threatened. With the TPPA contract with those countries that John Key signed with, they are liable. I'm liable to Pope for tempering with our business interests in Westminster. I further charge you, Pope Francis, with treason, genocide, um, um, harm to humanity, desecration of lands and their resources, natural resources, and their Christian people with your new Islam ISIS terrorist operation. Muslims, we charge you 970 million trillion trillion pound note that is evidence on our sites against you personally, your personal fortunes and all of your ministers and your bishops, priests, ministers in your parliament, in your churches, right through the world and your 1.5 billion members get a trillion pound note on each head, each head and all the government's ministers here in New Zealand, each head has got a trillion pound bounty on each head Everyone connected in joinder as accessories to Queen Elizabeth's fraud. Your fraud, Pope and the Rothschild Bank's fictitious fiat money fraud on our pound note. Okay, you've defrauded our brand name pound note, Patterson's pound note, and our native title. 900 million trillion trillion pound note in the Marae, Waitangi, King's Bench Court Marae, we pass that law on you. Those pound notes are now legal instruments against you levy debtors. I'm making this quite clear to my barrister, Shannon Withers, watching this video because I'm going to email it to you to tell the judge, Collins, and every other judge in the Auckland District Court that this is evidence in my affidavit on YouTube as admissible evidence in the High Court of Admiralty in London. All my Facebook statements, affidavits, are unrebutted, un unrebutted, and never been challenged. When you stay silent, you lose the case. That's what I'm saying to you, Shannon Withers. I'm making statements against the Pope here in front of the whole world watching on this long video to make it for the record. This is for the record in New Zealand courts that I make these statements that the pound notes of Moai Crown, Honeyshead in Dunedin, the Moai statue standing in the...